Hey Collective, today we're going to do an energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. Um, if a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. Um, as always, I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, the comments, and everything that you share with the channel, and um, all of the donations to the channel. If a reading is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, you can always come watch the message later. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. So the first cards out are the Three of Swords, and it's come out sideways, so we're going to leave it that way. Um, the King of Wands and the Two of Swords. So... What I'm looking at right now, this looks like somebody taking a look at heartbreak or something that's causing them pain and wanting to take action on whatever this is, but being confused about what the next steps are. So show me this three of swords. Um... You could be dealing with a Virgo. There's several masculine energies here. So I'm seeing um, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. And somebody could be trying to decide if they should message someone. Or there's something about being introspective about something to do with work, possibly, and feelings. Um, or something that they are working on. This person is trying to look at something from a place of either learning something about this pain or project. There's something about being emotionally balanced or being stable and trying to take stable action towards whatever this is. Show me the Two of Swords. Oh, the Five of Swords has come out. So whoever this is, um, they're, this is either somebody in their ego or they're confused about if they're making a decision out of ego. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, we also have Earth and Water here. So show me the King of Wands. Whoever this is, it's like they're looking at this pain and trying to make a decision and trying to put their walls down whenever it comes to this in order to make a decision where they feel like they have to do this. They're, they're having to look at something from a place of being vulnerable in order to decide something about whatever this pain is. But it's like they're making a decision out of being guarded and having boundaries and ego. This person, it's almost like they're looking at their ego and they know that that's the reason that, that they're making this decision. They could be looking at memories of you and them or you... Or there's memories here of a child that somebody could be taking a look at. Like, or remembering something. Something good that had to do with the way that things used to be when they were moving with the flow. So when something wasn't blocked. And when things were balanced. Somebody's seeing that the way that things are at this time are coming from a place of being e egotistical and trying to put up boundaries, whether this is you or them. There's something here. That's what the energy is. Show me the Six of Cups. What is this? 
Hmm. You could be dealing with a cancer or have that sign somewhere in your chart. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or have that sign somewhere in your chart. There's something about moving on from, like the memories that they're looking back on, they're looking at how Yeah, they want, whoever this is, they want to move to a place of a balanced partnership whenever it comes to something to do with you or something to do with children or something to do with fond memories that this person has of you in their past. This could have, could be um, you as a child or you in the before is what I just heard. Whoever this is, they're juggling wanting to make progress with their ego. There's something about looking at something. From a place of innocence or creativity or wanting to offer an apology or send an emotional message in order to balance something. This person feels like there's justice coming towards them or you or this connection or that is what's coming. There's something here with divine timing and you could be balancing a lot of things at this time. There's something for some of you where your energy may feel very chaotic, like you're having to, to multitask a lot um, in order to make any kind of progress. You could feel like all of the efforts that you're, um, everything that you're trying to balance is causing you to move slower. But there is something here about you making steady progress to balance the situation. This could be to do um, with something legal. This could be to do with a divorce. You could be a mother or a parent. Whatever is happening here, the energy is somebody wanting to move on from it. And it's like they're looking at a place of pain and trying to decide if they should keep blocking whatever this is. And this might be involuntarily because it's like this is somebody who should, maybe not should, but I'm seeing somebody who wants to be able to stand up for themselves, but instead what's showing up here is pain that they're having to be introspective through whenever it comes to emotions or finances. And it's like they're looking through that and seeing something that, that they're learning about themselves whenever it comes to finances and emotions where maybe they have been confused before because of their ego. So this person could be learning a lesson about um, just the way that they value these things in general as far as like ranking what's more important to them. And they're seeing that they could have been making decisions from a place of confusion and ego whenever it comes to specifically these two things. This could be someone that you have like, you see them as a lesson learned for you, and they are also learning something, or they're seeing something about themselves. You could be moving on to a new connection where you have um, what feels like a soulmate partnership where you move with the flow, and there's not a lot of imbalance in the connection between you and whoever this is. Or this person feels like you being balanced is something that's bringing injustice for you whenever it comes to progress that you are making that could have to do with something that you created or something that you're protecting or children they see that you are at a place of waiting to move on but there's also something here about you not getting off your throne like this person sees that you like you're looking at them from a place of healthy boundaries and 
ready to move on, but there's something that you are waiting for, you feel like is moving slow, like an offer that needs to come to you in order for balance to be had in this connection. Show me the two of cups. The star is here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius and the queen of cups is here. There's boundaries here whenever it comes to your emotions and your healing. There's something that you're taking very seriously whenever it comes to these two specific things. And it's like while you're doing this on the opposite end, like this person's mirroring your energy and that they're, they're also looking at two things, but the two things that they're looking at have to do with money and love or emotional balance. It's like they're looking at money and their emotional stability and you are paying attention to your healing, which is bringing you emotional st stability, but you're paying really close attention to this. It's like that's what you're focused on. And you're not letting anybody, anybody who's going to disrupt this, it's like whether it's this person that's showing up in this reading or anybody new, it's like there's something here that you're not dealing with anymore. Like if they are going to um, mess up your peace in any way, it's like you don't want anything to do with it. They can stay on the other side of the gate and be stuck there. So what is this stuck energy? Because this is coming out like things are not moving forward or they're not moving at the speed that you would like for them to move. What is this? <laughs> What's come out is um, the Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. So this is... What's blocking this is... It's like your stability is what's blocking this and somebody is seeing that you're successful. It's like they don't want to let go of this. Somebody can't, they're not seeing you like you're victorious or like you're successful or like you're stable or grounded or um, happy and balanced. I heard happy and free. This is something that gives this person anxiety. So that's what's stopping movement. So, and this has to do with deep emotions. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. There's something about their emotions for you. This person feels like you are um, very strong and powerful and charismatic in your energy. This is someone who, it's like, that's, hold on. Yeah. This is the ten, the ten of Swords is what's clarifying this. This breaks this person down. They feel like you are, you're stable and you're successful and free. And this gives this person anxiety or you're free of their anxiety. There's something about this person betraying you and they betrayed an energy of somebody who's able to create on their own. Um, you could be somebody who creates in silence or creates something... Um, in the dark. For some of you, you work at nighttime. There's something here about that. For some of you, there's something about this person not, um, it's like they, whatever happened whenever you and this, whoever this is, parted ways, they thought that you would not progress. That wherever it is that they left you, it's like you were isolated in their memory in that way. And they're seeing you as somebody who is charismatic and successful, but they don't want to believe that. This makes them feel betrayed. And also, it's causing them to think of fond memories of you. It's like that's what's coming up for them. And it's causing them to look at you in your current state and what they value materially and you and the way that 
they thought they left you and the way that it's making them feel. Hmm. This person could be attached to a karmic feminine or this is them doing something where they're lying, cheeking. Che <laughs> That's weird. I said cheeking. So they may think they're being cheeky. They may think this is funny, the way that they have behaved, or they did at one point. Um, but this person could be... Um, they could feel like you're planning something secretly, or this energy has something to do with somebody who has been... Hang on, I'm getting two different messages. They feel like you have the ability to manifest and create things in a hidden energy, like behind the scenes or something. There's something about, I'm seeing somebody, it's like a little thought bubble in a cartoon where somebody thinks that they left you just desolate and isolated and alone and falling apart and um, like you couldn't eat or you couldn't sleep. I'm seeing somebody who's like, very thin with wide eyes and their hair is falling out in this thought bubble. But in reality, when they see you, you're this beautiful creature still. And it's like they're having some clash of some emotional recognition for you and also something about the way that they're looking at, at the two things. Um, these two things being something material, so finances, and then something emotional. And this is causing them to look within. And it's causing them to be confused about, like, it's almost like there's pain coming up, but they don't want to recognize it as pain or they don't recognize it as pain. They're confused about what it is that they're feeling. It's giving me the, when the Grinch's heart grew three times. It's something like that where they're starting to have emotion and they don't recognize even what this emotion is. There's also something about you creating something in the dark and them feeling like you just grew stronger or got more beautiful or got more powerful secretly, like somewhere that they couldn't see. And so they feel defeated and it's giving them anxiety about your progress. This person feels foolish about people that they are around. There's something about they feel foolish about the people that they're with or either whoever they're communicating with or who this, these could be people that they're socializing with or whoever they, um, their circle of friends are. You could be a Taurus or have that sign somewhere in your chart. You could have been married to this person. There could be something here about a hierarchy. Or about them feeling like you are higher than them. For others of you, this person is connected to a karmic feminine. Who's been doing something and they miscalculated how strong you are because of you moving silently. And they feel foolish. That could be the person that this person feels foolish about listening to because they see that you have some kind of a victory coming. So what else is here? The Wheel of Fortune. So this could be a turn of events or this could be something that's been hidden. Um that comes into view, like something about the optics changing. There's something here about something turning. What am I seeing? I don't know what that image is that I'm getting. It's like a... Um... I'm seeing, I don't know what this is. If you know what this is, you can call it out in the comments. But it's like I'm seeing a circle. And when you turn the circle, the circle still stays there. But a portion of it moves. And whenever it moves, you can look through it and see. So maybe like a peephole or 
something where when you turn this knob, a portion of something is revealed. Where you can see all the way through. I, I don't know what that is, but so there's something here that's being revealed. So what this is giving me is somebody who has pictured you a certain way. They thought a certain thing of you. And whoever this is that was convinced that you were just falling apart behind the scenes and that you were running out of money and maybe not eating and not sleeping and, you know, having anxiety and doing all of these things um, that because of whatever they were doing to betray you, they thought that you just like stopped functioning and this story isn't for everybody because for everybody it's been a little bit different. But what I'm seeing is somebody who thought that you were just falling apart. And it's like someone moved whatever this dial is and they look through to be able to see into your life. And they see that you're not that. It's like when I'm looking through this image, I'm seeing um, like outside and outside is very green and... The sky is pink and orange. And it's like something very beautiful, like whatever this scene is. So maybe they've seen you recently or they have gotten some information about your life because maybe they've been spying on you or doing something here because the Page of Swords is here underneath the moon card. They could have been looking you up online. Um, because in this hermit card, that's what they're doing is looking at a computer. So whoever this is, it's like they've gotten a peek behind the veil and they don't see you now the way that they thought in their head. And they're feeling foolish about whoever it is that they've listened to. Because they see you as higher than them. Whoever this is feels like you are in a higher position than them. This could be somebody that you were married to or in a relationship with. They feel like they've made a choice that burdened themselves. So this person feels like they ruined something whenever they walked away. And that you've been able to manifest something new on your own and now they're seeing you differently they're seeing you like a high priestess who is silent but also manifesting something quietly you could have communication coming towards you from them so what is the advice here hmm oh wow so the cards that came out are the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the World. Um, and that just makes me think because the Six of Wands was already out here. Because um, the advice is you need to know that whatever you've been through, whatever you've been fighting for, you're going to have some kind of a victory here. These two cards together are the Six of Wands and then the World is here. So there's something about um, the advice is know that what you have been fighting for is going to bring you some kind of passionate new beginning, even if you cannot see what it is right now. Maybe that's why I'm seeing that image, because it's like a peek into the next realm or a peek into the next cycle or timeline or something. You need to know that there's something beautiful and passionate coming in for you. So the advice is don't give up here because you're very close to whatever the end of this is. So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.